Hello, I'm Fabio Ceramelli and I'm going to present you Conformer, a joint work with Mathieu Cor and Arthur Duyard. In this work, we present a novel setting for continued learning in segmentation, where the goal is to enable a model to learn segmenting new classes over time without forgetting previous knowledge. Our setting unifies semantic and panoptic segmentation using a mass classification framework. To address this challenging scenario, we develop a new method named Conformer that is based on the mass-to-former architecture family and node distillation. Conformer is able to operate on both semantic and panoptic segmentation without any modification on the architecture or on the losses. To avoid forgetting, we introduce an adaptive distillation loss and a mass-based pseudo-labeling strategy. Finally, to assess the benefits of our approach, we present a benchmark on both semantic and panoptic segmentation, adapting previous baseline for the novel setting, demonstrating that Conformer achieves state-of-the-art results. But before delving into the details of our method, let's focus on the problem. The segmentation task required to cluster pixels given their semantic category. Some tasks, such as semantic segmentation, produce a single region for all the objects of a single class, while others, such as panoptic and iso segmentation, output different regions for each object. Despite the fast advances in the current literature, current models require to know all the classes that will be seen in their lifetime beforehand and represent them in the training set. However, in the real world, novel objects appear every day, and the models should be updated as novel classes are discovered, a task that is impossible with current models without retraining them from scratch, a process that is both time-consuming and very expensive. In this work, we want to remove the need of retraining and to update the model to render novel classes operating only a simple fine-tuning on the new class data. In particular, we devise a setting divided in three training steps. On each step, we aim to learn a novel set of classes which extend the previous knowledge. To do so, we are provided a new dataset that contains annotation only for the novel classes, which reduces the training time and annotation cost. Note that, as in previous continued learning scenarios, while all classes may be present in the image, it is not provided any annotation for them. The annotations are composed by a set of pairs, each made of a ground truth class such as car and a binary mask, indicating where the object appear in the image. Note that for semantic segmentation, the mask includes all the object instances for that class, while for panoptic segmentation, we have a different mask for each object instance. The goal is to train a model being able to predict all the classes seen so far, without forgetting previous knowledge and to correctly learning the new classes. To address the novel setting, we designed a novel method called Conformer. It its architecture is based on mass to former and made of three components. The backbone, that may be a standard image classification network, such as a ResNet, that first extracts hierarchical image features from the image. The image features and unlearnable queries and then are then processed by the transformer decoder that outputs n per segment embeddings. To generate fine-grained image features, which are crucial to achieve good performances in segmentation, a pixel decoder upsamples the backbone image features to the image resolution extracting per pixel embeddings. The final output is made of n pairs of class probabilities and binary mask. To obtain the class probabilities, a classifier is applied on the per segment embeddings. Given that n may be larger than the classes in the image, the model can classify segment as no object, indicating that they not correspond to any class. To obtain binary masks, the per segment and per pixel embeddings are multiplied and then binarized to obtain n masks. We replace the standard sigmoid binarization of mask to former with softmax, forcing the model to produce only a single active pixel across all the masks. We found this crucial for continual learning performances because it's avoid class interference. On each training step, we train the model on the novel classes by using mask to former procedure. First, we match the prediction with the annotation using, using the Ungarian algorithm. Then, we apply a cross-entropy loss on each output classification segment, and a binary cross-entropy loss is applied instead only on the matched masks. To learn without forgetting, Conformer employs a knowledge distillation framework. In particular, at the beginning of each training step, we clone and freeze the network, using the copy as a teacher for the model. Since we noted empirically that forgetting mostly occurs in classification, we designed an adaptive distillation loss that forced the classification output to be consistent with the teacher. In particular, 
Each segment contribution is weighted based on the information it contains to avoid forcing the model to mimic segments predicted as no object, while giving more weight to the others. In addition, since the annotation is not provided for the all classes, we introduce a mass-based pseudo-labeling strategy that extract confident model predictions and use them as pseudo-labels for the training. To assess the contribution of Conformer, we implemented a novel benchmark based on the 8020K dataset, a large-scale large -scale dataset containing a large variety of scenes and 150 classes. We designed three continued learning protocols, each composed by a first step of 100 classes and then followed by a single step of 50 classes, called 150, five step of 10 classes, called the 110, and finally 10 step of five classes, called the 105. We re-implemented state-of-the-art continuous semantic segmentation methods, such as PLOP and MIV, using our same architecture in order to have a fair comparison. In the table, we show the comparison on panoptic segmentation, with their performances reported in panoptic quality. On the 150, conformer have a slightly margin with respect to the previous method, while it is close to the joint training upper bound. On the 110 and 105, the gap is wider, especially regarding the old class performances. This indicates that conformer is able to learn the new old classes without forgetting previous knowledge, and some quality results are shown in the slide. Similarly, we reported performances on semantic segmentation, following the same protocol of previous works and of panoptic segmentation. We reported performance in terms of uh, mean intersection of reunion after performing all the training steps. In the table, we show the results against their implemented PLOP and MIB baselines. On the 150, despite fine tuning is slightly superior on the Nova classes, Conformer is able to achieve the best results on all classes and overall. Here, the gap on the novel classes with joint training is still visible, while on the old classes, the model is able to maintain outstanding performance with compared to that. On the 110 and 105, the gap among conformer and previous baselines widens on all classes, while maintaining comparable performance on the other classes. The slide also reports some qualitative examples of conformer prediction, showing how accurately the model is able to predict the object in the image. This concludes my presentation. Thank you for your interest, and if you have any questions, I will wait you at the poster session in Vancouver. See you!